Well, hello friends. <laughs> Welcome to Maggie's Kitchen. Um, I was not planning to do a live today. That's why nothing was posted, but this is like the impromptu stuff because I had to make gallons of stuff to bring to a party tomorrow. And I thought, well, I might as well, right? Go live. So anyway, I'm going to wait for people to hop on. I know there's a delay um, while I'm sitting here gathering my stuff in the kitchen. So anyway, I don't know if I, I think on this same format, because I'm not doing it um, on my typical platform with StreamYard that also goes live in YouTube. This is only in Facebook. So I don't know. I'm going to sit here and look and see. I don't know. Oh, I can write a, somebody could write a comment. I've not done it like this y'all. So bear with me. I don't even know what that is. Hmm. What is this? There's all kinds of neat little things down here that I don't even know about because I typically don't go live on Facebook by itself. All right. There's at least one person. Let me know. I, hey, whoever you are up there, make a comment so I know if I can bring you up on the screen or not or if I can see the comment, please. I'd appreciate it. If you're watching on the replay, <laughs> you can, you can um, also do the replay too or tell me you're watching the replay. Um, I just need to know because this is a different format for me. I was going to do it on Instagram, but that even makes it more complicated. So, somebody better hop on before I go crazy. I actually need, I can't even see out of these glasses today. So, while I'm sitting here just talking to the world, my dog thinks that she needs to have some water. That's not happening either, sister. You're just going to have to wait. You're just going to have to wait. So anyway, okay. Now I can see. But I have made a mess of this kitchen. That is for sure. I will share, though, the gallons of stuff I've made. This is Hurricanes. And this is Margaritas. I will be posting um, some sh videos of how I made the gallon stuff. But anyway, I am gonna do, <laughs> y'all gonna like this. So my friend Keisha sent me a recipe that she found, she was Googling something. Okay, good, now I can see. Thank you, Brian, I can see that somebody's watching, it kind of shows up finally at the bottom because I'm not used to this. Okay, so she sends me this recipe yesterday and I just cracked up and I just said, you know what, I've gotta make it. It is called the pissed off Japanese minnow farmer. I'm gonna say it again. Pissed off Japanese minnow farmer. Okay. I had to go like really mix it because it's like a spit. I'm gonna say it's like a spit of liquors in here. Okay. It has a fourth of an ounce of vodka, a fourth of an ounce of gin a fourth of an ounce of rum, a fourth of an ounce of tequila silver, Chambord, a fourth of an ounce of Chambord, a fourth of an ounce of Midori in here, okay? That is like a spit of liquor, and it says, you know, you gotta mix it up. Really good, it says. So that's what I'm doing really good and then I'm gonna pour it in this okay and then you're gonna top it with sweet and sour of course you know about miss ma master of mixes okay let's see what this tastes like I can't even imagine and and I don't there's no garnish. Hmm. Not bad. It is kind of sweet, though. 
I don't know, it's probably not, not anything I'd keep on my list of drinks. Okay. Okie dokie then. Okay, next one, folks. I like standing next to my sink so I can pour stuff out. Um, yeah, that is sweet. Put that over there. We're gonna do a hurricane because I made a gallon of hurricanes over here, but I'm gonna make this recipe, you know, it is what it is, let me find it. Let me find the recipe, Pat O'Brien's Hurricane. I did this last year or one year. I mixed it up, but I'm gonna see if I can't make it better this time. Um, right, Rue? All right, let's try this. Let's try this. I might start doing my show in here because I have access to a sink, right? Okay, here we go. We're going with light rum and dark rum. I have, you'll be glad to know that I have started clearing out the liquor cabinet with these two gallons of stuff I have. All right, two ounces of light rum. See if I can find that on here. I've used up, this is my, my only rums I have left that I bought in Mexico, Havana Club. <laughs> Havana Club. Okay. Dark rum. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can consider it dark, but I do. Especial. Okay. A lot of rum, man. That's why they knock you on your, you know what, at Pat O'Brien's. Okay. Then we've got passion fruit juice. And this is Frutas Frescas Ocean Spray. <laughs> Cranberry, pineapple, passion fruit. That's the closest you're gonna get to passion fruit. Apparently they can sell it somewhere. I don't know. Okay. And I made homemade simple syrup, so it's going to be back here in a second. Okay, an ounce of orange juice. No, my eyesight's just not good today. Put that in there. Half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Makes a, oops. Well, I'm glad I'm in the kitchen. Shit everywhere. Okay, what else? A tablespoon of simple syrup. Huh. It's still on the stove, man. All right, simple syrup it is. Fresh, homemade, simple syrup, which is much cheaper to do. Okay, and then a tablespoon of grenadine. calories is in this thing and how much sugar okay I have no idea and guess what how I make it really red it's called food coloring squirt because it's typically not red like it should be okay that looks red Okay. I 
have stuff everywhere in this kitchen, y'all. It's not even funny. Oh, crap. It's a mess. All right, a nice little hurricane glass. Okay. That's what a hurricane's supposed to look like. In my opinion, anyway. Right? There you go. Okay, let's see. You got to add a cherry. Of course, I have cherries with no stems. So there's one that goes in there. And an orange slice. Which, give me a minute and I might slice an orange for you. Okay. Do I hear Rue in the background? There you go. That's a hurricane. Now I'm going to drink it without a straw. So let's just see. I'm going to stick this in here. That's just for light show, right? I have to say that's pretty darn good. Let me like do a little, another little mix here. That's pretty darn close to Pat O'Brien's, if you ask me. It's strong, too. Whew. All that rum, man. Do that. Okay. Cheers. All right. I don't know if, since I'm just only on Facebook, I don't know if I have any comments or not. So if, if you're still watching out there, can you leave me a comment, please? So I know you're there. Say, hey, why don't you share that recipe again or something? That would be good. That would be really good. I would like some interaction. So, question. Because you're going to have to put it in the chat. If you were to go, I guess, to a, just a dive bar, just a regular old bar, nothing fancy, what is your drink of choice whenever you go into that bar? Put it in the, put it in the chat for me. So I know. Y'all need to be able to comment. I sh it shows me the people that are on here. Brian, Mike, and Pam. I got three people. That's pretty good for a Friday at six, whatever. So what is your cocktail of choice at a dive bar? I'm going to call it a dive bar. Is it beer? Or is it a, you know... Obviously, they probably don't have, they may have a full bar, but they're probably not going to make you like a, a specialty cocktail. They may make a Long Island iced tea. They may even make a hurricane. I don't know. They probably have all that pre-mixed, right? So, what is it that you drink? I would like to know. I, I'll tell you what I drink. If I go to a dive bar, I'm not a big beer drinker. I used to be a big, a beer drinker growing up. You know, whenever, you know, that's probably the first thing I was introduced to because my dad was a beer, big beer drinker. He drank Pearl. Pearl was probably the first beer I drank. Schlitz. Um, and then he would drink those little Miller High Lifes, those little, little bitty Miller drinks. And then as he got older, he would drink Michelob Ultra. But he was a big bourbon drinker. I, therefore, did not like bourbon for a long time. I do now like bourbon. But my drink, if I'm going to go into a dive bar and not drink a beer, if I drink a beer, it's going to probably be um, Bud Light or Miller Light. If they have fancy beer, I like Stella. I call that fancy beer. It's probably not really fancy beer, right? Uh, I like, I will just get a vodka tonic, not, not a tonic, vodka and soda with a splash of cranberry and extra lime. That's my typical, just basic cocktail at a bar. So I'm trying to see if any of y'all are even commenting and I'm going to see, I can't, nobody's commenting. What are you guys doing? Y'all are just watching me and y'all don't want to comment? That is no fun, people. That is no fun at all. Like, no fun. 
I'm going to like cut you off shortly. <laughs> Come on. This is really red. That's what that food coloring does though. Now, unless you get, I guess if you get some kind of passion fruit juice, that's really okay. There's a lot of comments. I can't find the comments. Uh, Brian, where do I find the comments? Okay, let me see something. Where do I go? Can someone tell me where I find comments on here? I'm going to have to like, maybe, hey, hold on folks. I'm going to go get my other phone. I'm going to see myself live and I'm going to go, I'm going to try to answer your comments. So I, Okay, here we go. That's weird. Okay. That is so weird. Okay, I don't like this. Somebody's going to have to educate me. Hi, Michelle. Okay, we're here, but I got to comment on the... <laughs> okay. Okay, Michelle, you like Dos Equis? Fully dressed. Okay, Dos Equis fully dressed. Is that salt and lime? Is that what that is? Old fashions. But before bourbon... Okay, so Brian says old fashions these days, but before bourbon or vodka tonic... Michelle says vodka Collins. Okay, I, okay. I'm getting really mad at this. That this is not. Uh, I'm gonna press a button. No. Nope. No. Nope. There's got to be something that tells me that's just weird. I don't like this. Okay. I got to figure that out. Um. Okay. So. I like, oh, you know what? Uh, my friend Keisha drinks Dos Equis. So we went to happy hour last night, and of course I had margaritas, and she um, she had a Dos Equis with lime. She don't like salt, though. So fully dressed is salt with lime, right? All right, I'm getting it. Who else is on here? I got to get all my comments. The happy hour last Oops. night, of course I had margaritas. <laughs> Look, that tells you how try swiping left, okay? Okay, swipe left. Well, I did swipe. Okay, wait, this way. Well, I did. It's just not swipe left to reveal comments. Okay, I did. Okay, here, the, okay. Sometime, there they are. Now they're just now showing up though. That's weird. Okay, we're here. Okay, thank you. It's a good thing I can see my text messages come through. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, lime and salt, okay. Figuring this crap out, I typically don't you do just Facebook Live on this. Okay, so lime and salt. Okay. Um, anybody? I mean, I don't know. So, next question. If you were to go to a nice restaurant, what would your cocktail of choice be? Okay. What would your cocktail of choice be if you go to like, I'm going to say like a nice steakhouse, uh, something like that. It's a special occasion. What is going to be your cocktail of choice there? Put it in that chat. Now I'm going to see what you guys have to say. Because, you know, it's kind of different, right? You're at a dive bar. There's probably not a whole lot of options. Um, probably going to drink a beer or a bourbon and something, you know, something simple, right? Okay. So let me know. Let me know what that is. Okay. See, it's probably going to take a while for these things to come up, but I'm, I'm watching. So tell me what that, that is whenever you go to a really nice restaurant. Hey, I got a mess in this kitchen. Don't I, Rue? Cosmopolitan or nice red wine. Okay, what red wine do you drink, Michelle? Do you drink a Cabernet or do you drink, I mean, what red wine? I'm not a wine drinker. Okay, guys, I'm not a wine drinker. I'm a bubbly drinker, <laughs> but I'm not a wine drinker. Um, so let me know which one. I like a Cosmo. I like a good Cosmo. I like that. Um, 
I also like a good, a good dirty martini with blue cheese stuffed olives, and they have to have blue cheese stuffed olives, and if they don't have blue cheese stuffed olives, then that's like a deal breaker for me. Oh, um, Manhattans, you know, martinis, then a good, ca okay, Cabernet for dinner. I know you, you guys like wine. You know me, I ain't not going to do the wine thing. Typically depends on what they have and what type of meal. I'm, okay, I like Cabernet with the steak. There you go. Nothing's better. There you go. Cabernet with steak. I think Brian, who's also on here, would probably agree with that. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I have to laugh. My dog is down here, like, sitting here because she's thirsty and she likes to drink from the water faucet. And I'm not letting her drink. I'm like, I'm busy. But she's going to sit here and stare at me. That's rude. Okay, Mitch likes... Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Okay, Michelle... I'm going to say Michelle Gilbo, not Michelle Suarez. I love a good lemon drop. Love a good lemon drop. There is no doubt I can make... Oh, and the blueberry lemon drop. Let's, yep, blueberry lemon drop or their signature. Mm, yes, I can make a good one of those. I like those. I like those. Okay, so that's at a really fancy one. So if you... We're going to continue this conversation. Um... Dessert. Do you get actually dessert or do you get a dessert drink? Y'all know. Those that know me know what I get. Right? What is it? Do you get, do you get another like with, the, do you get a dessert? Okay, let's just say, do you get a dessert? with a cocktail nightcap thing like port or something like that to go with your dessert or do you skip the the chocolate or do you go with a dessert drink like a chocolate martini i like espresso martinis but them things keep me up all night long but do you do something like that see chocolate martini espresso i like that yep yeah. Man, I love lemon drops. God, I'm really, I'm kind of hooked on those. And those blueberry lemon drops are so good. So good. Liquid dessert, that's right. I'm all for that. I'd rather, I would rather personally me, and this is me and those people that know or that are closest to me know that I'm going to get a chocolate martini. And even my friend, my, clo the, the people that I work with, some of my vendor friends that we go out and stuff, they know that I'm going to get a chocolate martini for dessert. And I'm, I'm foregoing all the other, you know, chocolate molten cakes and stuff. I've had a bad experience with dessert cocktails. So I will take the actual dessert with the red wine. Huh. So what, Michelle, what issues did, have you had with dessert cocktails? You need to stop it. Sorry, I'm talking to, to the dog, you know, as if she can understand me. So what is it, um, what is it that happened? Because I'm going to say that there's only a couple that I'm going to get too much liquor. <laughs> oh, did you drink multiple ones? Is that what it is, Michelle? Did you drink multiple, like, dessert cocktails? Because, you know, that'll do it. So on... What day this week was uh, Tuesday? Was it Tuesday that was Valentine's Day? And I did um, a really quick live on chocolate martinis. So I doubled the recipe, but the martini glasses that I had were fairly small. So it made, like I drank like four. Yeah, I drank like four of them. I drank all of it. I drank the double batch, whatever, however many glasses that was. I drank them. I got up about 2 o'clock in the morning had to take some Tylenol. So, yeah. No, it was too strong. They didn't balance it out. Okay. So, which was it a... Was it a chocolate martini, Michelle? Was it a chocolate martini? What kind of, what kind of cocktail was it? Because I got a great recipe for a chocolate martini. In fact, whenever I did... Okay. So, it was a chocolate martini... And they didn't balance it. Uh, it's kind of hard to, 
I guess it is. You can screw. I think they used bay. Oh, yeah. Because they didn't. They. You know what they did? They didn't have Godiva chocolate. They did not have Godiva liqueur. And I'm told. And Brian's on this. Brian's watching. So Brian, you can chime in here. That they are going to stop making Godiva chocolate liqueur. Right. They're going to stop making that. I went and shoot, I didn't even think about it. I was at Total Wine today. Hey, Jen. Woohoo. Join in on the combo. We're talking about desserts, dessert drinks. Um, I should have got that at, um, I should have looked at Total Wine when I was there. Because I'm going to buy that stuff up. I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to say that if it's not, um, if it's not open, then it doesn't go bad. So somebody's going to have to tell me, Brian, does it go bad? Does, I would think that you have to use it. Once you open it, it's a chocolatey liqueur. So you've got to use it within a certain amount of time. I probably should start like dating. But I go through that pretty quick because that's my absolute favorite dessert martini, right? Looking for a drink right now. Oh, well, you've missed... You've missed the drinks, Jen. You've missed the drinks. This is a hurricane. Happy Mardi Gras, folks. Happy Mardi Gras. I will go back over <laughs> before I get off of here and after our, our conversation about cocktails, I'll give you the um I'll give you the recipe uh for that. Or you can go back and watch. No, I have to give I haven't I haven't done my my duty here and given y'all the the actual Ingredients so you can, okay, already have Godiva had to shut down an operation to stay in business. They chose the liquor division. The liquor, is that the liquor, di what division? It's been gone from, okay, I've got to read your stuff from the shelves. Which, what liquor, li liquid, liquid division? What's lick division mean, Brian? What does that mean? Well, Michelle, you're not going to probably be able to find it. And then they're going to have a oh, liquor division. What do they make? Okay. So they chose, okay, they chose to get rid of the liquor division. Is that what you're saying, Brian? They chose to get rid of the liquor division? Because that's what I need to understand. And, and that's why, because obviously it's Godiva li liqueur, right? They don't, I don't know, they don't make anything else besides like, True chocolate, right? Got to hit it. I'm so myself. Love you, Michelle. Oh, I will give my pups hugs and kisses too. Okay, correct. So that's what it is, Brian. Okay, well, that sucks big ones. Excuse my French, but that really does. So now we got to find something that's of equal... I don't want to say value, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what's coming to my mind right now. Of equal... I don't know. I don't know. I've only had like a couple of sips. Something that's equally as good, right? Something that's equally as creamy, as good. I've tried those other brands and they suck. They really suck. So I'm going to, if they took, I, I'd got one. Um, ooh, Jameson and Sprite. I've never tried. Well, I'm not a big Jameson person, but I, with Sprite, that's interesting. That's an interesting combo. Hmm. So if y'all know what I'm talking about is people are commenting. So you got to look at the comments because it's a little different on just Facebook live. Um, wow. So Brian, we, we, we're on a manhunt, sir. After searching long and hard a 95% matches Mozart. I think I chocolate cream look. Okay. All right. I, did we try that before? I think we've tried that before, but that's about, you know. Hey, is there a DIY of how you make your own? Because, you know, I'm all into, like, let's just make your own. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you could. You really could. I don't know. Good question, though. All right. So, this has been fun. So, we have beer. Bourbon, vodka, Collins, stuff for dive bars. 
um, fancy. Okay, cream is the key, not just exactly. It's got to be creamy. Um, so, Jen, you joined late, and so as you're watching, um, what's your cocktail of choice at a really nice, nice restaurant? A steak restaurant, steak, seafood, you're out to dinner, um, you're on a date. I'm just, I have to laugh at that because I just say that because I'm never on a date. Um, something like that. Maybe out with your friends and you just, it's, it's just a nice steak night. So what is your cocktail of choice? <laughs> Let me know. I'm going to try, I'm going to try this, how to piss off a minnow. Oh, wine. Okay. So you, you're a wine drinker. Is it? Red or white, and what kind? A date, well, yeah, me too, Jen. A date would be nice. I, I'm, I'm so far removed from that. So far removed. Whew. That is awful. The more I drink that, that's even awful. That All that stuff together is too sweet. With steak, red, okay. Do you drink? Like a cab? Is that what you drink? Let's see. That. There's all kinds. People gift me wine all the time. It's all in my wine cabinets over here. So. All right, guys. I'm going to go through any red, really, just not too dry. Okay. Well, you know, you're speaking to the non-wine drinker here. Um, all right. Ruby, what's the matter? You thirsty? My dog is like crazy over here. All right. I'm going to go through really quick. <laughs> Just so that you guys know, in case you want to make this drink called Pissed Off Japanese Minnow Farmer. I'm going to go over it again. And that is this that I made. Okay. A fourth of an ounce of vodka. A fourth of an ounce of gin, a fourth of an ounce of rum, a fourth of an ounce of silver tequila, a fourth of an ounce of Chambord raspberry liqueur, a fourth of an ounce of Midori, and then shake it all up, pour it over ice, and top it with some sweet and sour mix. The pissed off Japanese minnow farmer. <sighs> this sweet. That's not something I'm going to continue. Okay. Here we go. This, happy Mardi Gras, friends. This is the hurricane. Okay. Two ounces of light rum, two ounces of dark rum. I'm not going to tell you what brand or whatever. Just pick some white or light and some dark. Apparently, Pat O'Brien's makes a rum. Just in case, I don't know where you find that. So, two ounces of passion fruit juice, and this is what I bought. And I'll show. It's called Fresca's Cranberry Pineapple Passion Fruit. So, two ounces of that, an ounce of orange juice, a half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Y'all know you can buy this shit at. H-E-B, Central Market, Specs also has it, I know on Smith Downtown, if you're down that way, they sell it by like the half gallon. I won't, I'm telling y'all, if I have to squeeze another lime, you're going to shoot me. A tablespoon of simple syrup and a tablespoon of grenadine. Shake that up, pour it over, and guess what? If you need it to have a separate, like a little color to it is called food coloring red food coloring to give it this color because it's not that color at all and i'm wondering if pat o'brien's does that just saying just saying because stay tuned i will post my video on how to make a gallon of this and a gallon of margaritas because that's going to a party tomorrow evening out in the country. So that's that. So 
All right, friends. I have held you guys long enough on a Friday night. This was fun. This was fun. Uh, my impromptu live, right? My impromptu live. All right. That's it. I got to clean this kitchen. It's a mess in here. All right, guys. I will see you guys later. Some of you I will see tomorrow, but have a great Friday. Cheers.